Um, I think people uh, should wear face coverings on public transport. I think it is a good idea. Because lots of people still aren't doing yeah, that. Yeah, well, I, but I would just advise them to, to wear it, as Andy said a moment ago. I think it, uh, it you know, it, there, is a, there is a fair chance it will help. If they happen to have coronavirus, it'll st potentially stop it from transmitting. I think it gives people confidence to go onto public transport if they see people, other people are being uh, careful. It also just serves as a kind of prompt, a reminder um, that we're not in life as normal at the moment. We do need to behave differently, wash our hands more frequently, be careful, stay alert as um, at the moment. And then the face covering serves as a sort of reminder. On the very specific question about uh, if I was having a sandwich or being served a sandwich, even, even better, then uh, I think I would want that person to be following the guidance and wearing a face mask. But I think you can, you can still smile and the person you're talking to can you still can't see, see your smile. You can't see it so smile. easily. Well, you can, you, people can smile with their eyes as well. And I think if someone's smiling at you properly, you can tell they're smiling, even if they're wearing a face mask. So at the moment, it, it's a, a recommendation on the part of, of the yeah. government and, and you know, in enclosed spaces. Can you see it going further than that? Well, again, I think we have to be guided by the scientific advice. And if there is compelling evidence that it should be uh, compulsory in the future, I'm sure the government would follow that advice. But it really must, as always, be led by the science and that applies here as much as it applies in all the other areas we've talked about this evening. So